almost finished with the prepared questions. So um, before I give you each the opportunity to make some closing remarks, uh, I would like to comment on today's article or ask you to comment on it. I was half joking when I said Joshua Stewart is a fan of all of yours. Uh, but I don't know if you all saw the article today in the Union Tribune, but um, he uh, called into question many of the comments, statements made by candidates during the debate uh, process. So I'd like each of you to just, in your own words, speak to that article and your view of it. I'll start with you, Kristen. Well, first, I'm happy we got all thrown under the bus together. That was a proud moment. <laughs> and for me, it was a school bus. But here's the reality. That article scratched the surface of the work that I'm doing in the schools. And uh, I'm glad my son's here because he can attest to the fact that I spend so much time at the local schools, and it's not just my child's school. More importantly, when I started thinking about the contributions that I can make to this office, I had to think long and hard about what do I add that's unique. And for me, it's about being younger and being able to engage with young people. And so City Hall will be able to confirm the number of groups that come through our doors to come do mock city council meetings, to do tours of city hall. I go out to the third graders in particular throughout all of the school districts within Encinitas Union and talk to the classes about what our local government does. I'm very committed to this and committed to the future of our young people. One program that I do go out and teach that's a formal program that was highlighted is through junior achievement. I'm really proud of the work that I've done and certainly the article doesn't do anything to really showcase the level of involvement and engagement I have. But you can ask Carson in the red shirt if you're interested in that. I think it, um, the media is dishonest, generally speaking. I don't care what Josh uh, Stewart writes. I balance my budget without using reserves and talking about the government has to balance the budget no matter what. Yes, you can balance your budget using millions of dollars of reserves. That's not a balanced budget. A balanced budget in a conservative approach is you spend as much as you make. You don't borrow money from your reserves. If you have a bank account in your reserves and you keep using it to spend month after month, you're going to be bankrupt. So I don't, you know, Josh Stewart, he can write whatever he wants. I'm taking my message to the voters. I'm knocking on doors. I'm very proud of my achievement in Escondido. Nobody is going to take, uh, take this away from me. Not my opponent, not the newspaper. The voters will decide. I've been proudly in, uh, 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 voted by the voters of Escondido. I got 60% of the votes with two Republican and Democrat, well-funded Democrats. I got 40% registration of Republican <clears throat> Escondido. I got 60% of the votes. I am very proud that my achievement have been recognized by the voters, and that's what matters. Supervisor Roberts. So I know many of you may not read the UT, so let me just tell you what the article had to say on me. It said that I was not telling the truth that I've been in leadership for three years. Well, I have been in leadership for three years, and it takes the vote of your colleagues to get into leadership for three years. I've been the chair pro tem twice, and I've been vice chair once. I did ask not to be chair this year because I'm the incoming chair of the California State Association of County Supervisors, a great honor not only for myself, but for hopefully the County of San Diego, because it gives me great access in San Diego to talk about the issues that are really important about and need to be heard in Sacramento. And so I'm, I'm going to be assuming that office this November, and also got elected to the National Board of County Supervisors. So to say that I have said anything differently other than I have been elected by my colleagues three out of the four years on the board into leadership positions, it's the truth, and I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> 